Hello comrades, this is Paul Tax TV. Many of us, myself included, have been saying for years that the SNP is a bunch of clowns. And yesterday was the moment when finally the clown car pulled up and the doors fell off and the wheels <laughs> fell off and the horn went wah, wah. The SNP, if the SNP was a person, it would be a weird, creepy person that was up to no good. It would be the kind of person that if they got on the late bus, you'd be praying that they would sit down beside somebody else and not you. Across the empty reaches of space, sitting out among the stars, minding its own business, there was a tiny little planet called UK. There were two lots of people who shared this planet, the Ingrids in the south and the Scrotums in the north. The Ingrids could be a bit pompous and sometimes thought they were better at football than anyone else, which wasn't true, but they thought it anyway. But mostly, they were rather naughty and very silly. To the north lived the Scrotums. They could be very mean and were always complaining about the Ingrids. And they lived on iron brew and used their bottle tops to buy methadone and chips. There were two other planets nearby. On the left were the Euros. They were very bossy and liked telling other people what to do. On the right were the Yankers. Some of them were nice, but a lot of them were fat and noisy. Most of the scrotums didn't mind the Euros or the Yankers, but some of the scrotums really didn't like the Ingrids. And over time, they joined together and made a gang all on their own, the McDaleks. And they were led by a mean girl called Nikolai McDavros. She didn't want to share the planet with the Ingrids, she wanted to be part of the Empire of the Euros and liked the idea of them telling the Scrotons what to do in return for lots of bottle tops. Eventually, the Ingrids and the Scrotums had a punch-up called the First Neverendum and the Scrotums lost. This made Nikolai McDavros sad and very grumpy, but she refused to accept that most of the Scrotums, more than half, didn't really mind the Ingrids, even if they were a bit pompous and better than them at football, and were happy to share the planet with them. Nikolai McDavros refused to admit she was a loser. She bullied the other McDaleks to give her lots of bottle tops for another never end them. Not enough to pay for a ferry, but enough to buy a lot of methadone and chips, with enough left over for some wind turbines. But as time went on, some of the McDaleks wondered why there wasn't another Neverendum and where their bottle tops had gone. Uncle Fester McNider, Nikolai McStalin's bestest friend and Dinky Dunky Bumper Humper, said he didn't know where all the bottle tops had gone. Some of the McDaleks thought that might be a fib. One of the scrotums complained to the busies saying he had given the McDaleks his bottle tops for another never in them, and the McDaleks had said that's what they would spend it on. But no never in them ever came. And so, the top three McDaleks, Uncle Fester, Baldy Boy Beatty, and even Nikolai McDavros herself, were huckled. Which is what the busies do with naughty little scrotums. Where have all the scrotums' bottle tops gone? Asked the busies. We spent it on the Neverendum, said the McDaleks, like we promised we would. Oh, I Prove it, said the busies. And then, like she always did, Nikolai McDavros made up a story. Only this time, unlike the case for another Neverendum, it had better be a bloody good one. 
to be continued.